everybody got a deuce. What? Hi friends, good morning. My name is Chandu. Now in this video, I am want to say how to do the non-inverting amp amplifier using multi-sim. First, I will show you the circuit diagram of IC pin of the OP amplifier. This is OP amplifier IC number 741 OP amplifier. Here inside the circuit, inside the IC, this is the way it is connected. The second pin is inverting and the third pin is non-inverting. Fourth power supply and we use only 2, 3, 4, 6, 7 6 is the output where we take the output and 7 is plus VCC here it is the uh, here the IC look like this and here it is the the circuit diagram of it plus plus VCC is the third pin and minus V is the second pin for inverting and V out is the sixth pin for V out plus VS is the seventh pin and minus vs is the fourth pin now i will show you how to do it in multi sim first open the multi sim i'm opening it Yes, it is multi sim. Wait for some time. Here. Loads. Next, right click the mouse pointer. Here you can see place components. Here, select all groups. Then go down to OP amplifier, it is in the list. It's in the alphabetical order, you can see by that. Here it is OP amplifier. Click on it. Here you can see this is the list of the OP amplifier. Here click 741 I see. And click OK. Here it generates OP amplifier. And close first I will tell you about this. This is the second pin. This is the second pin you can see that and this is the third pin this is the fourth pin this is the first pin fifth pin and seventh pin this is the output sixth pin as we can see that the circuit diagram plus is uh, third pin and second uh, minus is second pin output sixth pin like that it's the way and v plus and v minus seventh pin and fourth pin here's the seventh pin and here's the fourth pin here we can leave them as one is offset and uh, five is also offset we can leave the both and we use the remaining all the four mm. now for con connecting v plus to the connecting source to the voltage is v plus is non inverting and v minus to v minus is inverting now i will show you non inverting with negative feedback negative feedback is connecting R2 with the negative terminal it is called negative feedback if it is connected to positive terminal it is positive feedback now here one resistance is taken and connected between them I will take the resistance click on the place place components and go to basic here in the list you can see the resistor mm take any value and click ok and place it here we are placing it negative terminal so i am placing it down next take another register of for v r in and placing i am placing here ok and now i will place it you can see that r1 and r2 are taken and we need a ground and V output to measure, V input to give input. First ground place components. Go to sources. Here scroll down, you can see the ground is available. Ground and click OK. 
click ok here the ground comes and we want to give source I am using function generator here's the function generator to give input I am using function generator now first we will connect uh, this resistors and ground after we will see that here we connect uh, here like the way we connected see you can see that the loop we created and register afterwards and to the ground here we have to give input I am giving input from function generator the input and using common terminal to the ground now we want to see the output so take the oscilloscope Yes, the oscilloscope we want to see for two things first one is for input and second one is for the output the both are connected to common to the ground here it connects to the ground so I am connecting to it and this also connected to the ground so I am connecting here can see that and here extra we have to supply the plus vs and minus vs so we want to input so please right click place components you can see plus vcc here click on it and click ok place it above and we have another also you can take plus VDD and click for below fourth one I'm placing here ok then close and connect 7 to plus VCC and 4 to VDD set the voltage uh, value to 12 here click on the number 5 and you will get the value I am changing it to 12 and press enter or ok sorry minus 12 here VDD minus we have to give minus voltage you can see that here we have to give minus VS so minus voltage and here plus 12 click enter I change it to plus 12 and minus 12 you can see that you can see that now I think all the components are connected wait wait this offset also connected sorry glue them both as this now if we double click the function generator you will get the values mm, I am placing frequency up to 50 or 50 I will keep and voltage I am setting it to 1 volt it's enough and close it and here for gain it is a there is a formula that gain equal to 1 plus R2 by R1 here R2 is maximum than R1 then we will get some gain so I am this is R1 I have to change this is R inverse relations ok I am changing it I am keeping it as I will keep this value as 2 ok next click on it I will keep 4k ok here in this circuit R2 is this one, R1 is this one but here it changes here it is 2, I am keeping it 2 and keeping 4 as here 2 and here 4 we get 2 by 4, 4 by 2, 2, 2 plus 1, 3 gain is 3 here now for running 
if you double click on it you will get a oscilloscope now run it adjust the time adjust the time frequency for clear view and amplitude also 5 volts wait i am reversing it to get a here you can see that it is coming like this adjust the time frequency to change the value of it I am adjusting it sorry I am increasing I want to decrease it here you can see that the view is coming change the division also 1 volt per division I am giving 2 volts per division this also 2 volts per division mm, for better view I will increase the frequency of it increase the frequency or decrease I will see how the frequency affects the graph and now run it you can see that it uh, comes first so I will increase it to 1000 now I will run you can see that it uh, gets better now here you are confusing with input and output so I will change the color of B select it and right click here you can see that and click on properties now here net color click on it and select the color where you want here the net color click ok I am selecting blue and apply and ok simulation is running so we can't to we have to restart the simulation so stop it and start it again now you can see that the input is red color and the output is white blue color you can see that the input signal is amplified and it is non inverted with the way the output is uh, amplified and non inverted this is how you do you have to do with multisim thanks thank you for watching the video and bye